Hi guys, in this video I will show to you how you can grow bigger biceps at the gym by following this video till the end. At the end of the video you will find all the biceps workout resumed. So stick to this video until the end to know how to train your biceps. The biceps is one of the most famous muscle from the people and most of the time is known as element of strength. But the biceps is also one of the smallest muscles in our body and for that reason you don't need many sets to train them. So I advise to match this workout with the back workout that I have already uploaded on my channel to have a complete pull day workout. This workout is based on the muscle science of the bicep and there is a specific selection of the exercise. In fact when we don't how a muscle is structured we really don't know what we are targeting in every exercise. For that reason in this workout there are three exercises that target the three heads of the biceps, that are the long head, the short head and the brachialis head. These three heads are targeted in every curl exercise but to grow them better we have to differentiate the exercises. So without wasting time let's start. First of all I always start by warming up my biceps. So I generally do some dumbbell curls to involve all the heads of the biceps and warm them up for the workout. For this exercise I do 3 sets of 10 reps. Don't go too heavy on this one, just make sure that you are feeling them while curling. Now that we are warmed up we can start with the first exercise. The hammer curls. This exercise targets the brachialis head of our biceps that gives width to our biceps. So make sure you are doing it in the right way. Start by positioning your feet at shoulder width and have a natural position of the arms. Grab a weight that let you do around 12 reps with a lot of effort. Start curling at the same time with both arms slowly till you reach the top position. Now do the negative movement with a slow movement and reach the initial position. In this exercise is crucial to have a full range of movement, so you have to move the weight upwards to your shoulders and then move backwards until you flex the tricep. Make sure you have a slow movement on this exercise to target better the muscle and keep a mind-muscle connection. One simple tip I can advise is to do that exercise in front of a mirror. By doing that you can constantly watch your biceps working and improve your mind-muscle connection. In this exercise I do 3 sets of 12 reps with 45 seconds of rest. This exercise can be done also at the cables by using a rope. So you have to set as I said before but this time you use a rope that you grab with a hammer grip. In this case is the same to use the dumbbell or the rope, so choose what you like the most. The second exercise is the incline dumbbell curls. In this exercise I adopted a sort of drop set that I will explain to you in an instant. First we have to say that this exercise targets the long head of the bicep. Most of the time this part of the biceps is not trained enough because most of the people focus on short head that can be targeted with classic curls exercise like the preacher one. First grab a weight that let you do 10 reps and then a weight that let do 12 reps. I usually take weights that are close form each author like 8kgs and 6kgs. Now that you have the weight you have to set properly the bench. The bench must be inclined but not too much, so set an angle of 45 degrees. Now grab the heavier weight you choose from the two and set your arms in a natural position. Start curling up until you reach the top and do the negative movement slowly until you flex your tricep. Do 10 reps with this weight and take 45 seconds of rest. Then grab again the heavier weight you chose and do as many reps as you can. In this set you have to reach the failure, that doesn't mean you have to stop when you first feel fatigue but when you physically can't move the weight anymore. Then take 45 seconds of rest and after that grab the lighter weight and do 10 reps. This exercise will destroy completely your arms if you do it properly. So. For this exercise there are 3 sets of 10 reps, failure, 10 reps with 45 seconds of rest. Also this exercise can be done with the cables but you have to use the classic handles. So set with the bench in the middle of the cables machine and curl the weight as in the dumbbell way. The third and last exercise is the close grip curl. This exercise targets more the short head but also the ortho heads in a minor way. 
Grab an S bar and add weight that let you do 12 reps. Now set your feet at shoulder width and grab the weight with a close grip. In the S bar this close grip is already set, or otherwise you can use a straight bar. Now curl the weight up till you reach the top position and and squeeze and the top. Then do the negative movement slowly till you fully extend your arm. Repeat that for 12 reps. This exercise must be done slowly and with a full range of motion to have all the benefits from it. For this exercise I do 3 sets of 12 reps with 45 seconds of rest. This exercise can be performed better if you use the cables. So I advise to use the cable machine with the classic cable bar. And as with the free weight start curling. If you use the cable you will have a constant tension on the bicep. Instead with the free weight you have the highest tension only in middle of the movement. Before concluding this video I want to give you a bonus exercise that you can add to this workout or you can replace with the last one I mentioned. This is the reverse grip curls. The reason I like so much this exercise is that can target your bicep and also your forearms. So you simply train your forearms while doing curls. First you have to grab a as or straight bar, choose the one you feel comfortable with. And add weight that let you do around 12 reps. Then grab the bar and set your feet at shoulder width. Start curling with a reverse grip until you reach the top and then do the negative movement slowly. This exercise can train a lot your forearms and make them bigger. In this exercise I do 3 sets of 12 reps. Also this one can be performed at the cables by using a rope or the classic cable bar. In this workout I start with the hammer curls and then with the incline and as least the close grip. One because I like to first target more the long and brachialis head of the biceps and then target them all with the close grip curls. So, now the bicep workout is concluded. This workout takes around 20 minutes and for that reason I advise to match it with a back workout. Remember that if you want to maximize your bicep workout you have to slow down the reps and squeeze at the top of every rep. Make also sure that you are performing these exercises in front of a mirror so you can look at your bicep working and improve the mental connection. This workout is personally used from me and I got a lot of gains from it. Make sure you have an appropriate diet and a healthy lifestyle to get the results. So if you are searching a place to find all the information you need to start your fitness journey, you can have a look at my channel that is totally dedicated to that topic. Hope you liked and enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and activate the notifications. If you want more content you can check my social medias, link in the description. If you have any question, leave it in the comments. See you next time.